Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. My name is Nicoletta, and today I'm doing a whole video about my acne journey. So buckle up, grab a snack, maybe a drink. This is probably going to be a long one. While body image issues and confidence around physical appearance have become more widely talked about and more of a norm to talk about, and people are really embracing their bodies, having problematic skin or skin that's just not perfect, that's not clear is still very filtered and not many people want to talk about it. And a lot of people are still scared to show their skin if it's not perfect. And I totally am one of those people. I have always been really nervous to share my skin if my skin is really bad and I still feel insecure about my skin. It was really bad to the point where when I was in high school, I would be really nervous to even look at people in the face and their eyes because I was always so scared that people were looking at my skin or when I would go to the washroom during school, I would be scared to look at my face in the mirror. Just didn't want to look at my skin and that it was just gonna look so bad. Have acne and dealing with that can be honestly really stressful it can be frustrating and it can be debilitating to your self-confidence that is why I wanted to make this video this video is completely honest and everything that I do and that has helped me out of course all our skins are different unfortunately and our bodies so it's really hard to find what's going to work with each person's skin and there's going to be a ton of trial and error as you guys will be able to tell by listening to my acne journey but hopefully this can help you but i just wanted to be raw and open and i will be sharing some pictures even though i still hate doing it because it's still this insecurity in me but you know what hey if it's gonna help one person i am doing it for that person i'm gonna kind of break up i guess this video into sections First thing I'm gonna talk about the things I personally have tried that didn't work on me so you can kind of understand the history and background of my journey when it comes to acne. Then I'm gonna go through more of my skincare routine and the products and things that I do in order to manage my acne. And I have finally found something that I am confident to share with you guys. I'm gonna jump right into my history now. I personally started breaking out, I believe when I was like 12, 13, and it just kind of got worse the older I age when I break out my acne is always on my cheeks my chin and a little bit on my neck like under the jaw as well I typically never broke out on my forehead I tried everything under the Sun let me tell you so I remember the first thing I probably tried was the proactive three-step system or four step whatever how many steps they have it unfortunately did not work with me I totally got suckered in by all those celebrities promoting it and I was like I need to try this after I I started using all the creams and stuff in stores that you can buy it just wasn't working so I started going to my doctor and dermatologist so I started off by getting prescribed creams for your skin which were honestly so bad because they bleached like my towels and as well as my pillowcases and they worked a little bit when I first got it and then after that it just stopped working so none of the uh, topical creams ever worked for me my doctor and I started to go on pills so I did a few different pills I did not go on Accutane I went on the pills below that so Accutane's the strongest form of pills that you can go on for acne and you have to do blood work every month they have to do a bunch of tests there it's very intense so the pills I went were below that where you didn't have to do any testing you could just take it every single day and those pretty much didn't help me at all so we stopped those the last step that I did in order to help get rid of my acne was going on birth control I was using the one that was targeted to help skin tried one for a few months and that one honestly helped cleared up my skin the most I've ever seen in my entire life and I loved my results of the skin I was on it for a little bit and I couldn't do it anymore. It was really messing with my head. I felt severely depressed and it wasn't worth it to me. I had clear skin, but I didn't feel like myself. It was really intense and I never felt like that in my life. After I realized it wasn't going away and I was still feeling like this, I decided to go to my doctor and apparently those were one of the side effects that I wasn't told about. So 
that can be a problem with taking these pills that there can be side effects that can cause like depression and it can be not very pretty so we tried a different type of birth control for skin and that one I noticed did the exact same thing for me so I was like you know what I rather live my life with acne than be miserable and have my mental health affected just for clear skin so I decided to get off those pills once I got off those like birth control pills I decided to change my diet and I decided to do things such as cutting dairy, I cut sugar, I cut everything for months. I drank celery juice because I heard that was really good for skin and to be completely honest I didn't notice a difference. I was told so many times to quit dairy which I've been um, drinking almond milk over milk for so many years now but it really did not make a difference for my skin. After I changed my diet, I kind of was so fed up to the point where I went into my doctor's and I told her I just want to do Accutane. I'm ready to do it. I watched videos on YouTube of people's journeys and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. I always was thinking about it before, but I was always really nervous because there can be side effects to it and also they don't really know if it has any long-term effects, so that really made me nervous. And the fact that you have to get blood tests every month so I went into my doctor's we booked an appointment with the dermatologist one night I was at home on uh, my computer of course watching YouTube what else is new and then I stumbled upon some girls video that was actually suggested to me and I clicked it and uh, she talked about this product that was like a miracle for her. We had the same kind of background. She's tried everything, nothing worked for her. She tried some of the same pills I did and creams and all that and it never worked for her, but these things work. So now I'm gonna get into the products and the things that I do to help my skin. By the way, this is not sponsored. No brand knows I'm talking about them. I feel like I just wanna share that because I know that a lot of people think if something's sponsored that they're, someone's not being honest, but I want you guys to genuinely know that all of these things were purchased with my own money. All of these products I've probably been using about six to seven months, I would say, and I'm very confident now with my skincare routine, and I'm actually excited about it because I've never had like a consistent skincare routine that has stuck for that long and actually notice results. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the supplements that I take. So these are the Alana New Balance Supplements and guys this has made the biggest difference to my skin. So I've been on this for probably six months now. Of course you want to check with your doctor before you start anything but this has made the biggest difference in my skin and I started researching and I went on their Instagram. There's amazing reviews on it and it's really great because all it is is a supplement and all I do is I take it every single morning four pills you have to take and you just take that in the morning with your breakfast and that's it. And I've been taking it every single day and honestly this has been the best thing I have ever stumbled upon. I stock up on this. I have three of these right now. The other one's downstairs, the one that's open. If you have acne and you try everything and you can't get rid of it, the reason why you have acne has to do with hormones. A lot of people think, oh, because you're not cleaning your skin enough, you're not doing this and that and this and that. but. Anyone that has acne knows that you've probably tried everything and it really has to do with your hormones. So these pills help to balance your hormones and it helps to brighten your complexion and as well as your skin. So I will link it down below for you guys. I definitely recommend trying it out. I will put up pictures because I was tracking when I first started using this to now and it is just such a big difference. And obviously I am still continuing to use this every single day. Um, it is a little bit more pricey, but honestly it's worth it with the results that you're getting. This has been the biggest game changer in my skincare routine by far. Before I get into the products I use, another tip that I just want to mention because I always just notice such a big difference with this and it's really simple and that is just drinking water. If I'm not drinking water a lot, I notice my skin like breaks out a lot more. If I'm keeping up with my water intake, my skin just looks so much better. 
So I definitely recommend consistently having a water bottle with you all throughout your day because I'm telling you, you're gonna notice a difference in your complexion. So now jumping into the products, I'm going to be sharing with you all the products that I use for my morning skincare routine and my night skincare routine. But every single day, I wash my face every morning and every night, of course. And my facial wash does change from time to time. I typically don't always keep the same one, but the one I am currently using and have been liking a lot is the Neutrogena Naturals Acne Cream Cleanser. I find this is really gentle on my skin. It has no harsh chemicals, sulfates, or parabens, as well as dyes and it does have naturally derived salicylic acid in this. Once I wash my face in the morning, I go ahead with a serum. I randomly started to try out the Ordinary and I recommend it. First off, the products are so affordable, which is amazing. But not only is it really affordable, it works. And I'm telling you, you need to try these serums out. I have a bunch of their serums, but these are the two that really stuck with me for months and that I can't live without now and that I totally recommend. So once I wash my face, I will go in right away with my Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. This is amazing and this is one of their most popular products and I know why because I can't live without it either. I wrote down some points in my notebook just to kind of give you guys more of information about it because of course just reading the name when I first read it, I was like, what is niacinamide? It's such like scientific terminology that the average person doesn't understand these words when it comes to skincare. So I'm gonna tell you guys why this product is amazing and what it actually does. Niacinamide actually stands for vitamin B3. Vitamin B3 is known to reduce the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion while balancing your natural sebum levels for a shine-free complexion. It also improves the skin from losing water and protecting it from pollutants and irritants while the zinc in this is an anti-inflammatory which is commonly used to treat burns and scars and also fight against free radicals. It also encourages collagen production to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. It is oil-free, alcohol-free, and silicone-free. This is something I like to use every single morning. You can also use this at the nighttime, but I use another serum at night and it's said not to use both of them at the same time. The other thing I have to mention about this serum is that you aren't supposed to mix it with vitamin C because if you do it kind of counteracts each other so you're just not gonna get the benefits out of it so if you use this in the morning you can use your vitamin C cream at nighttime then I will go in with a moisturizer I love the natural moisturizing factors HA moisturizer that was a long one this is just kind of like a lighter moisturizer I like to use a thicker one at night when you are using the niacinamide serum you have to apply this first before applying any creams or anything on top so that is why I go in first with this and then I will go in with my moisturizer another thing that I like to do throughout the day is I like to use a sort of rose spray the one I have right now is the grace and Stella spray all day rose spray this is just amazing to help keep the moisture I got it in my FabFitFun box and I actually love it so that is why I have been using throughout a day as a little pick-me-up or if my skin just ever feels kind of like dry and dull. Now I'm gonna go through my night skincare routine because it is a little bit different. So of course I go in and use makeup remover wipes and wash my face. Once I'm done cleansing my face, something I like to do at night is this is the time I typically like to do a face mask. So I don't do a face mask every single day, but I will try to do a face mask maybe two times a week. And I'm gonna share with you my top three favorite face masks. I am a face mask junkie and I really do know a difference when I am keeping up with doing face masks. The first one I love is the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moor Mud Purifying Black Mask. This is great if you have congested skin, it also helps to hydrate, and it's great if you have any clogged pores or acne. So this is the one I have been loving. I'm almost honestly out, which is so sad because this thing could be a little bit expensive, but it's totally worth it. I will link all the products I do talk about down below for you guys. A more 
affordable alternative that's also great for acne is the Ordinary Salicylic 2% Mask. This is for blemish prone skin. And if I have bad breakouts, I will go in with this mask. And the last masks that I also love, and I like to use these when my skin is just looking dull and kind of dry, and that is just sheet masks. So I have a bunch of different ones. I try a lot of sheet masks. But in general, I just like sheet masks for hydration. When it comes to serums and creams, when it comes to nighttime, I like to use the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2%. This is a beta hydroxy acid, so it really helps to exfoliate the inside walls of your pores to fight the appearance of blemishes and for better visible skin clarity. If you mix the salicylic acid and niacinamide, you're not gonna get the best results of the salicylic acid, so that is why I only go in with the salicylic acid at nighttime and of course I always like to add a moisturizer at nighttime my moisturizers do switch but right now I'm just using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost gel cream I love to use a gel cream more at night because I find they're more thicker and they provide better moisture to your skin so that is what I like to apply at nighttime my skin can get quite dry sometimes so I like to add a more thicker moisturizer during the nighttime so my skin can totally absorb it and in the morning it's going to look nice and bright and hydrated that is my acne journey and those are all of the things that I had to go through and do in order to get my acne under control I really hope this can help you out because I totally understand the struggle of acne and how frustrating it can be everyone's skin is different and everyone's body is different but I hope this can be useful and help you out I will link the products that I did talk about down below for you guys to check out but don't forget to click that subscribe button to join my YouTube family. I would love for you guys to be a part of it and as well as the bell to be notified every single time I upload. But on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!